आईकॉन भारत 2024 कॉन्फ्रेंस अ टू डे इंटरनेशनल इवेंट ब्रिजिंग हेरिटेज एंशंट रिसर्च एंड एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द श्रीम ऋषि रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वैदिक टेक्नोलॉजी इन कोलैबोरेशन विद ब्राह्मोस डीआरडीओ बिट्स पिलानी एंड सेवरल अदर पार्टनर्स वॉज हेल्ड इन हैदराबाद ड्यूरिंग द इवेंट प्रोफेसर राम गोपाल राव वाइस चांसलर ऑफ बिट्स पिलानी proposed the exploration of certificate and diploma courses in vedic sciences listen to the full speech when i was uh, at iit bombay as a professor in the electrical department there one day uh, dr b s murthy who is currently the director of iit hyderabad so he brought dr shastri garu to me in uh, bombay and then he said uh, you know he has developed these materials and and uh, we don't know what's happening and where they can be used and this is the process that is used and all of that so i did not know anything about uh, vedic sciences or anything like that but i am more of a my research involves you know more of applications and uh, so when i saw the materials he was working on i got interested but then you know being a scientist myself i wouldn't trust something unless i do things and uh, on my own and verify what one is saying and uh, then i because it there was a lot of chemistry the process he was following was all it involved multiple steps and all of that and then i called the the people from chemistry department uh, the faculty from chemistry department we had half a day brainstorming session session to understand what he is doing you know why is he doing uh, all those why is he following all those process steps and all of that i think what my chemistry colleagues at iit bombay told me was in a modern lab you, know, you use all modern techniques uh, and use many of these materials in their synthetic form and what he was doing was using uh, ancient techniques using the same materials in the pure form for example he would use curd imli and all of that now you don't use curd imli and all of it to produce nano materials you use the synthetic variants of that so they finally figured out that the process basically involved use of these materials in their purest form and then finally coming up with uh, you know the kind of materials that he was able to produce and that interested me and i was also puzzled why so many you know hundreds of years ago uh, those people you know without any um access to the modern techniques how could how could they evolve these processes what must have gone in their mind you know to mix these materials and to follow the process so being a scientist myself i was fascinated by uh, you know whatever uh, that was happening and uh, and then we got interested i was uh, chairing a committee in uh, ministry of electronics uh, and information technology in india in the government of india then i we we wrote a proposal and then we got funding and he would develop the materials and my students will use them for various applications and then we were able to publish many good papers in fact some of these are in top journals and the papers would easily get accepted because nobody had done anything like that so whatever you publish you know whatever you say uh, eventually gets published so in fact i uh, those students who worked on his materials now they are all you know some one of them is in london one is in the us and they are all doing very well uh, in their careers so that's how my journey with him began and uh, it was very fascinating what what uh, he is doing uh, in fact what he was doing at that time and and what he is doing right now and now i know dr satish reddy as the chairman drdo so he was able to you know bring some get some drdo labs interested and uh, you know develop these materials for a variety of strategic applications and i think uh, you know you have seen uh, dr shastri's presentation uh, i mean it's amazing kind of a work i uh, you know coming from a totally modern kind of a background you know i get fascinated by whatever is happening but i think we need more shastris you know so we need more people like him to bridge the ancient science with the modern science i personally haven't found anyone other than that you know he is the only one who is able to bridge that gap and uh, i meet many people they talk out of you know thin air 
and then you don't really get uh, uh, get excited by that and we have of course a lot of modern scientists but they have no idea what was there in those books and what was written and how to decipher all of that knowledge you know there is nothing that you can do but he is the only one who is able to bridge that uh, the modern with the ancient thing and uh, i think uh, you know maybe through srivt he needs to uh, do more i think we need to probably get some some degree granting status and we need to have a lot of you know people to get trained in some of these processes and uh, i think you know at least in bits pilani uh, we i will be quite keen to collaborate with him and then see what kind of courses we can offer because we can offer degrees uh, from bits pilani and uh, we can even offer uh, certificates and diplomas and since we have that status and uh, you know since uh, he is somebody who is very unique in that respect you know can we design some courses make them available uh, to large cross section of people so that more and more people you know will be able to uh, use this knowledge and do something useful for the for the society today and uh, i think i will be quite keen to you know take some of these aspects uh, forward and uh, you know science is one thing where who is saying what doesn't matter even einstein 100 years ago predicted gravitational waves nobody took him seriously right until they were proven you know the gravitational waves were proven just about 5 6 years ago you know there were no nobel prizes or nothing now the nobel prize was given to gravitational waves not to einstein who predicted them but to people who actually proved that gravitational waves exist now gravitational waves is a tool to explore uh, uh, you know the space and all of that and that's how science works in science you know whether it is shastri or or einstein doesn't matter what they are saying until it is proven it it just remains as theory so the but i think we need more practitioners of science now to prove the kind of theories that uh, dr shastri has uh, been able to you know discover in all those uh, texts and i think you know it has to become a big national movement my only worry is all these politicians talk about it and say many things but finally when it comes to funding these projects when it comes to providing the financial support i haven't seen many of them coming forward and doing anything and and i think that's the biggest concern so i think some of us uh, you know who are uh, involved in this work who appreciate what he is doing i think we need to join hands and bits for one will definitely do that dr mohan rao is here he of course is cmb former director and very well known uh, scientist and he is now with uh, bits pilani system and uh, you know i think if we can write some joint proposals all of that will be ni- nice even dr satish reddy now is uh, also connected with bits pilani we just started a uh, center for research excellence in uh, for national security and uh, which uh, he will be Uh, helping us build that whole activity and i see so many materials here which are important from the national security point of view in terms of developing new missile systems new bulletproof shields and all of that and if we can also use these materials and jointly develop some projects and all of that that will also be nice i think i for one i think would continue this collaboration and and would want to bring out some of these you know for the use of the country Thank you very much thanks a lot To stay informed about the startup ecosystem subscribe to my startup tv